my confession now causes me to have commitment. That's the term of the loan. Commitment connects me to responsibility, which means I got to have a way of taking care of that. Whether it's having a job or whether it's having a business or whatever, that's the responsibility part. And the responsibility, where how I handle the responsibility is going to reveal my integrity. Oh, Lord Jesus, I wish I'd have wrote that down. Because that's coming fresh off. This is off the press tonight, y'all. I ain't got this wrote down. I'll try to say it again. You better pray for me to be able to say it again to you. I believe I can, though, because it's something I'm practicing. So, your confession. Your confession to the people. You got the loan. Your confession is, is I'm going to pay y'all. I got a 48-month term. I'm either going to pay y'all. No later than 48 months or may pay it earlier. Things go good. That is the confession. The confession is going to now bring commitment. I'm committed to doing what I confess. So then my commitment is now going to bring some responsibility. Which means that I'm assuming I'm responsible for how this that I confess takes place. My responsibility, how I handle responsibility is going to reveal my integrity. Y'all know it. How we handle responsibility reveals our integrity. And in the world system, our integrity is connected to a score. That's how they judge it. Based on a score. Which is called a credit score. So, the enemy is after the confession. And so how all of that gets tore up is if I do not honor that that I've confessed. I hope y'all are understanding me. If I do not honor that that I've confessed, it's going to be revealed in my integrity. It's a domino effect. It's a domino effect, y'all. I get it. I confess it. I'm going to take care of it. That's what I say. I tell the people I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to do that. And so they ask me, how are you going to take care of it? That's the want to know what you what you make. Because what they're looking for is responsibility. So what I'm saying to them is I'm responsible because I have a method in place that I'm going to take care of this. And so based off of that, <laughs> now my responsibility will reveal my integrity. Is after our confession. You confess that Jesus was Lord. Life situations comes to make it look like he's not. To change the confession. I don't know what God going to do. It just seems like God ain't hearing me. Well at one time you was confessing. That God did hear you. While everything was going good, you was telling everybody you was zippity doo da zippity a. But as soon as a situation takes place and God is in a place of grooming or maturing, now your conversation, your confession done changed. God ain't hearing me. I done been talking to God. I been saying something to God. God ain't saying nothing back to me. See, your confession done changed. 
Don't change up. Don't change up. Let me see what else it is he wanted me to say. Confession is connected to commitment, and commitment requires participation. It requires participation. So, whatever you commit to, you have a role in it. You have a participation role in it. If you commit to a local house of God, or even a global, it don't matter. If you commit to it, you have a responsibility in it. And the responsibility is your participation. It's not for you to just be there and not do nothing. But it's for your participation. Which means that you should be making sure that that thing functions like it's supposed to. If you if you have confessed it. If you confess that you are a part of a local assembly. Then... Your participation ought to match your confession. Because if your if your participation does not match your confession, then there's something wrong in your integrity level. You can get mad all you want to. But it's the God in heaven truth. If your participation, if my participation in something that I have confessed, if I have no participation in it, I have an integrity issue if I'm still confessing it. If I say that I am a, they call it members. At Trim, I have partners. I don't have members at Trim. I have partners. There's a difference to me with members and partners. I understand that we are members of the body of Christ. I get that. But when we're working for the kingdom, they're partnerships. Because what that means is, is that you know what's going on just like I know what's going on. We're in this thing together. We're partnering together to make a difference um, in the world for the kingdom. So at Trim, I have partners. I don't have members. You can become a partner at Trim. Okay, so if you say that I am a partner at Trim, so use Trim for an example. If you say I'm a partner at Trim, but you have no participation, there is an integrity issue somewhere. And you can trace that integrity issue to all different levels, I guarantee you. Guarantee you. You can trace it to different levels levels, not just that area, but watch all the other areas too. Now I want you to look at yourself because that's what we're talking about tonight. We're looking at ourselves. We're not looking at anybody else. This is God talking to us, letting us know that the enemy is after our confession. So we're talking about ourselves. I want you to look at yourselves and see where your integrity is. What is it that you've confessed that you are a part of, but your participation is not where it's supposed to be. So you confess that you're in a marriage, but your participation ain't where it's supposed to be. You're not putting in the work. You're not doing the things that should be done in the marriage. Where's your participation? You're not handling intimacy as you should. That's a part of participation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're unseemly. You're being disrespectful out your mouth. No participation. Don't want to help with things. No participation. Okay? No participation. All right? Check this out. Salvation. Let's look at that one. Where is your level of participation as it relates to salvation? How would you participate in salvation? You might ask that question. Are you witnessing? Hmm? Are you praying? Are you reading your word? 
Where's your participation? If there is a lack of participation, there is an integrity issue. You, you, you can just, you can argue it all you want. That lack of participation shows a lack of integrity. Integrity. In, I in, integrity. Is something going on inside of me. Something is wrong inside of me. Now I can talk to you about integrity. I'll do it at another time. Because I don't mind sharing my story about how God had to deal with me about this integrity stuff. Because I tell you what, I was horrible at it. I was horrible at it. Now, baby, I try my best to handle my business like I'm supposed to. Personal matters, business matters, everything. If you call me, I try to respond back to you. If I don't, you best believe it was something that happened. And even if I am, I'm still going to say I'm sorry the next day or however. Because it's integrity. It's integrity. Okay. So, friendship. You say them folks your friend. But where's your participation in the friendship? They always got to call you. You don't never call them. But you say y'all friends. Where's your participation? See what I'm saying? When there is a lack of integrity, when there is a struggle in the area of integrity, it will hurt your participation. Integrity, when we struggle with it, it's very dangerous. It's way more important than what we think integrity is. You not only need integrity just for credit. You need integrity in everything. You have to use integrity in simple things such as following a recipe, you have to use integrity. If the recipe says, bake it for 25 minutes, then you got to go there in 25 minutes and take care of it. That's integrity. But if you let it cook 30 minutes, lack of integrity. Lack of integrity. I didn't know these night caps was going to start getting this real like this, but we in here now. It's a lack of integrity. It's a lack of integrity. If people call you, you don't call them back. It's lack of integrity. It's lack of integrity if you old people and won't answer the phone to let them know you don't have it or what have you. There are certain measures that you can take. They do have something concerning called a done in process. If you get into fair credit reports, you know, and all that, you can find out about how much done they can do to you. But it's much easier to get them off your back if you just let them know, I can't. I'm not in a situation to. Either way, whether you answer the phones or not answer the phones, it's still going to go to collections. But at least you can stop the harassing if you just told the truth about it. See, these are all integrity issues. And these are issues I had to conquer. So that's why I could tell you about them. So integrity is very important. It's very important. Married people, you took vows that represented integrity. You took vows that represented integrity. Mm Mm-hmm. I told you, the enemy is after your commitment. 